Diana Taurasi threw a fit as Caitlin Clark made history against her Mercury team. Caitlin is truly amazing. Every time she plays, she breaks a new record. It was the same when her fever played against Taurasi's Mercury for the second time. If you don't remember, the first time they matched up, Caitlin was one rebound shy of a triple-double. She then became the youngest player ever to achieve a triple-double in the very next game. Not setting a record against Taurasi probably bothered her, so she went all out against the Mercury the second time. Caitlin and Aaliyah Boston became the the first duo in Fever history to record 20-point double-doubles in the same game. Both of them dominated the Mercury. Caitlin also had seven first-quarter assists, breaking a franchise record. She now holds the Fever record for assists in both a single quarter and a single game. From the start, Clark was in full control of the Fever offense. She filled the stat sheet in a way only two other rookies in league history have done, herself and Angel McCautry. They were the only rookies to post at least 20 points and 10 assists in a game and now Caitlin has done it twice. But the game wasn't completely smooth. The Fever saw their 31-point lead shrink to just four points with about three minutes left. This is especially bad since the Fever started the season very slow and have been climbing the standings. Still, Indiana held on, but it was a frustrating fourth quarter. Caitlin's frustration showed when she hit a chair. Part of her frustration came from the officiating, especially when Brittany Griner hit her in the face and the refs didn't call a foul. Caitlin has been upset with the refs all season for allowing cheap shots and not calling the game fairly. Once again, she brushed off a hit like a champ. One highlight from the game was Caitlin's dribbling and footwork as she cooked a defender on her way to the hoop. She went between the legs, saw her defender move left, and found the hole she needed, going straight to the paint for an easy layup. This showed she isn't just a three-point shooter. She can also attack the paint with her fast dribbling and decision-making, similar to Steph Curry. For a better comparison to Curry, Caitlin needs to attack the paint more often, which could be the next step in her game. The former Iowa Hawkeye star ended the game with her fifth straight double-double, recording 20 points and 13 assists. Through her first 24 career games, Caitlin has tied her own franchise record four times. It's only a matter of time before she breaks the 13-assist record for good. Against the Mercury, Caitlin made pinpoint passes that left the Mercury wondering how it was even possible. What made it even sweeter was that Diana Tor Tarasi had a front row view of the game. Tarasi was out due to an injury, which was disappointing for fans hoping for a rematch between her and Caitlyn. Even though Tarasi wasn't playing, she still got frustrated watching Caitlyn dominate. From the start of the game, Clark looked to be in full control of the Fever offense. She proceeded to stuff the stat sheet in a way that only two other rookies have done in league history, one being herself, while the other was Angel McCautry. She and McCautry were the only rookies to ever post at least 20 points and 10 assists in a game, and now she's the only one who has done it twice. But it wasn't a completely smooth game. While Caitlyn had no shortage of highlights, the Fever saw what was once a 31-point lead slip to only 4 points with about 3 minutes left in the game. You simply cannot have that happen, especially with the Fever having started off the season extremely slow and have been slowly climbing up the standings ever since. Still, Indiana held on, but it was a frustrating fourth quarter. The frustration poured out of Caitlyn, and we saw her lash out and hit a chair. Part of that frustration stemmed from the officiating. This included a time when Mercury player Brittany Griner smacked her in the face, but the refs did not call a foul and simply allowed the play to continue. But that's nothing new. Caitlin has expressed her frustration with the refs all season as they have allowed cheap shots and not called the game fairly. Once again, Caitlin absorbed a hit from an opponent and brushed it off like a champ. One highlight from the game was Caitlin showing off some beautiful dribbling and footwork to completely cook a defender on her way to the hoop. She went between the legs, saw her defender move to her left, and found the hole she needed, going straight to the paint for a seemingly easy layup. That could only happen thanks to that move, showing everyone that she isn't just a sniper from the three-point line. She can call an ISO on you and leave you wondering what happened with her lightning-fast dribbling and decision-making. So it's no wonder her game is often compared to the likes of Steph Curry. But to really earn that comparison, we need to see Caitlyn attack the paint more often. Hopefully, that is the next evolution of her game. Still, the former Iowa Hawkeye star ended the game with her fifth 
straight double-double, recording 20 points and 13 assists. Now, through her first 24 career games, Caitlin has tied her own franchise record four times. It's only a matter of time before she breaks that 13 assist record for good. Against the Mercury, Caitlin was dishing it out, finding her teammates through pinpoint passes that left the Mercury scratching their heads, wondering how it was even possible. What makes it even sweeter was that Diana Taurasi had a front row view of the butt whipping. Taurasi was out due to an injury, which really sucks because fans were hoping to get a rematch between her and Caitlyn. However, just because Taurasi wasn't playing doesn't mean that she didn't get cooked by Caitlyn. In fact, during the game, Taurasi was visibly frustrated and constantly yelling at her team from the sidelines.